Hi friends, now we're going to discuss about something. Something is there in uh, SAP that's very helpful. So what happens is, suppose uh, I am in this transaction ME23N, okay, and here I want to see the purchase order, and I can see they can be here. We can see there are invoices and all those things. Now I want to see the. I can see the invoices and goods receipt from here. But I can see the extended document flow from here. So what I can do is I can go here environment. I go to document items and I can see extended document flow. When I do that here I can see the purchase order, the goods receipt and all those things. So here you can see this is the goods receipt, this is the invoices and all this. So let's see. We will check another another PO. Okay, let me see whether we have another PO. Uh -huh. 243 probably this one 297 let's see so this is here you can see there are stuffs here and we have some invoices let's see whether we have some more we can play around 298 i want to see something where you have multiple line items okay so here you can see there are a bunch of in bunch of goods received so i'll go here environment document item and i click on extended document flow and here I can just click here and I can see all the goods receipt associated with it okay so here you can just if you want you can double click and unfortunately this is taken to MB03 which I think needs to be corrected for this for this type of things okay so let's go go to line 2 and we go to line 3 okay so if I go can I select all the lines and go to the extended flow environment document changes extended okay I clicked on the wrong one no subsequent environment document items extended document flow and here if I click on this it only gives the first line so though you have selected so let me uncheck this let me see click on this 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 and I go to environment document item extended document flow uh, and here if you see it only shows oh it takes you to the purchase position okay so line 10 you have line oh this is nice so you see there is goods receipt here and here you have the scheduling lines and all those things this is so pretty pretty slick okay for material procurement so this is this is nice so you can utilize this so it's really helpful so you just go select the line go to document item and you go to document flow and from here you can get all this information so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day